Hey there. I got nervous to make this video. Not because I'm nervous to sit here and be with you, but because I got thinking in making this video, am I gonna be making videos every single day, sharing my thoughts, sharing what's on my heart, and what's on my mind? Or when is gonna be the next time that I want to make a video? And just kind of thinking too far into the future, taking myself out of the present moment, and when I tap back into the present moment, I'm reminded with the fact that the present is enough. And I wanna sit here and make this video with you right now. So maybe I'll want to tomorrow or maybe I won't, but for now I do. And the reason that I really, really wanna do that is because I feel very frustrated. And maybe you are feeling this too. I feel frustrated for a lot of reasons, a lot of small reasons that I could pinpoint in my own life, but there's some big underlying reasons that I need to keep in mind as well. The reason that I'm going to go into my frustrations in this video is not because I want sympathy or a pity party, but because I am a mirror for you. And maybe you are feeling a little bit frustrated too. We experience frustrations when we feel constricted, kind of like a snake that can't necessarily get off its shed skin. Or maybe if you've ever had a pet lizard or seen a lizard that has a little bit of its old skin stuck to it, you can see how frustrated this animal gets and it will find solutions to release this old stuff that it is carrying around. Frustration comes up in humans for the same exact reason. It's time to release, it's time to grow, and it's time to transform. The little things that I'm frustrated about right now are not really things that I'm actually frustrated about. The people that we're mad at are not really the reason of our frustration or the events or situations that are causing you frustration might not even be the reason. The reason that frustration comes up is because we are outgrowing these old situations. We are blossoming and blooming and changing and shifting and evolving and transforming into who we want to be. And as we do so, we may outgrow situations or perhaps the universe will push us out of them the same way that a mother bird pushes its little baby birds out of the nest and says you have wings use them it is time for you to fly maybe that's what's happening and that's okay uh oh i just realized how long this video is really going to be in our world we are taught about emotions and we're taught to suppress them not to cry, not to give in to them, to nip them in the bud, but emotions like frustration are coming up to guide us into who we want to be. These emotions have stored in them codes for us to take action, information, memories, insight that only we can gain by truly feeling the emotion. So if you are listening to this and wanting to just feel frustrated, feel as frustrated as you want to feel. But it's very important to remember that when we experience these emotions, when we get mad at another person, it's not that person that we're truly mad at. That person is showing us a part of ourselves that is ready to change and shift and grow. Or maybe that person is showing us a way that we don't want to be or a way that we would be if we did not learn this lesson. The universe is always trying to talk to us and teach us and give us exactly what we need in order to become exactly what we want or achieve exactly what we want. It's up to us to learn the language of the universe so that we can listen and grow because that is what we are here to do. And I'm here on this journey with you, listening, learning, growing every step of the way. You are not alone and you are safe to ask yourself, what is it that I need to release in order to expand into what I want?